Harvard scientist Avi Loeb believes the discovery of interstellar objects might be proof that we're not alone. Avi Loeb isn't a man who scares easily. The Harvard astrophysicist has spent his life challenging the scientific establishment, most famously claiming the interstellar object Oumuamua was alien tech. Now, at 78 years old, he's making his most explosive claim yet. ExoMars uh, camera uh, on one of its uh, orbiters of Mars, and uh, it looks like uh, they detected the, uh, the interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas. He says that Mars orbiters successfully filmed a new visitor, 3i Atlas, but the footage has been buried. He believes this object displayed undeniable signs of being artificial, and he's pleading for the evidence to be released before he dies. What did those cameras see that was so shocking it had to be hidden? The Atlas Tapes The European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter got the first look, capturing a faint streak against the Martian horizon on October 2nd. It was an amazing, historic moment. Down on the surface, NASA's Perseverance rover turned its MassCam Z to the sky and snapped what JPL engineers confirmed was the object, a single bright dot, a ghost from another world. But many people are crazy about the next step. The main event was supposed to come from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. This thing is a legend. It carries the high-rise camera, a telescopic marvel so powerful it can spot a coffee table on the Martian surface from orbit. On October 3rd, it was pointed directly at 3i Atlas. It took the picture. The data was sent across millions of miles of space. And then, the world was met with absolute silence. The footage never came out. This brings us to Avi Loeb, the 78-year-old Harvard astrophysicist who has become the boogeyman of the scientific establishment. While space agencies delayed and gave excuses about processing time, Loeb dropped a bombshell on his blog and in a fiery interview, he declared an apparent media blackout. He claims the footage exists and that it's being hidden from the public. Why? Because what 3i Atlas really is would be too much for the world to handle. The thing nobody tells you is that this object was already raising red flags. Loeb and his team had identified seven distinct anomalies. Seven reasons why this comet was unlike anything ever seen before. First, its strange tumbling rotation. Then, the complete lack of a coma the gas cloud that should surround a comet. It was also far too massive for its estimated size of 100 to 200 meters. And then there was the big one, non-gravitational acceleration. Just like Oumuamua, it was speeding up as if something were pushing it. Add to that a strange cigar shape, mysterious radio emissions picked up by ground telescopes, and a trajectory that was almost impossibly perfect. This wasn't just a rock and Loeb is convinced the high-rise images prove it. The silence from the agencies only fuels his fire. He's not just hinting at a cover-up, he's shouting it from the rooftops. He believes the high-rise footage is so clear, so undeniable, that it shows features that are not natural. In his words, it would reveal an engineered origin. Think about that. A high-definition photograph of an alien probe locked away in a digital vault on Earth. Many overlooked the urgency in his voice, but Loeb feels he's in a race against time, desperate to get this truth out before he dies. He sees a pattern of denial and secrecy from the mainstream scientific community, a group he feels is too arrogant to accept the possibility that we are not the smartest kids on the block. The world waits, but the silence from Mars is becoming a roar. The missing film is just the beginning of a much deeper mystery, Loeb's Lonely War. To understand why Avi Loeb is so certain about 3i Atlas, you have to look back to 2017. That was the year that one eye, or Oumuamua, tumbled through our solar system. It was the first interstellar object we had ever seen, and it baffled everyone. It was long and thin, shaped like a cigar, and it was moving in a way that couldn't be explained by gravity alone. It was accelerating, pushed by an unseen force. The mainstream explanation was that it was outgassing from melting nitrogen ice, a theory that many, including Loeb, found ridiculous. To Loeb, the explanation was simple and logical. Oumuamua was a piece of alien technology, maybe a solar sail, a probe, or even just space junk from another civilization. He published his theory 
and was, to put it mildly, ridiculed. The scientific community largely dismissed him as a sensationalist, but Loeb didn't back down. What many overlooked is that Loeb isn't some fringe conspiracy theorist. For decades, he was the chair of Harvard's astronomy department. He has published hundreds of scientific papers. He's as mainstream and established as it gets. His argument was that science should be open to all possibilities, not just the comfortable ones. He famously said, extraordinary conservatism leads to extraordinary ignorance. He was warning that if we refuse to even consider the possibility of alien technology, we are guaranteed never to find it. Oumuamua was his Exhibit A, a piece of evidence that the establishment explained away with a theory he felt was more outlandish than his own. Now fast forward to today and you can see why 3i Atlas has him so fired up. It's happening all over again, but this time the stakes are even higher. It's one thing to have a blurry, distant object like Oumuamua raise questions. It's another thing entirely to have a new object, showing even more anomalies. Get a high-definition close-up from one of humanity's most powerful cameras. For Loeb, this is Oumuamua 2.0. He sees the same pattern of behavior from the scientific community. First, excitement, then confusion as the data doesn't fit, and finally, a desperate scramble to find a natural explanation, no matter how far-fetched. The second interstellar visitor, 2i Borisov, was a comfort to the mainstream. Discovered in 2019, it behaved exactly like a comet should. It had a big, beautiful coma and tail, and it followed a predictable path. It was proof that most interstellar visitors were just rocks. But 3i Atlas has shattered that comfort. The lack of a coma, the weird radio pings, the acceleration, it's all there again. It's like the universe sent us a second test. And this time, we had a chance to get a clear look at the answer sheet. And according to Loeb, the people who saw it are now trying to pretend the test never happened. He believes the silence isn't about caution. It's about fear. Fear of being wrong, fear of upending everything we think we know, and fear of the public's reaction. The patterns were clear, but what did the hidden footage actually show? The official story versus the truth. So, why would they hide it? Let's say Avi Loeb is right, and the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter got a crystal-clear look at 3i Atlas. What could be on that footage that would justify a global blackout? The possibilities range from the mundane to the reality-shattering. The official, unspoken explanation would be simple. Maybe the objects started to break apart. Comets and asteroids fragment all the time, and perhaps the stress of passing through our solar system caused it to crumble in a weird way. The non-gravitational acceleration could be explained by jets of gas shooting out from newly exposed ice. The weird shape? Just a bizarre collection of tumbling fragments. In this scenario, the footage is being withheld simply because it's complex, confusing, and requires months of analysis before a definitive paper can be published. It's not a conspiracy, just science being slow. But that explanation starts to fall apart when you look closer. The thing is, NASA and the ESA are masters of public relations. A fragmenting interstellar comet would be one of the most exciting astronomical events of the decade. They would release the images immediately, even if they were still being analyzed. The public loves that kind of stuff. The silence, the complete lack of even a, here's a sneak peek, is what feels so wrong. It suggests that what they saw wasn't just confusing, it was alarming. This brings us to the more wild theories, the ones that keep Avi Loeb up at night. What if the high-rise footage showed something that was unmistakably artificial? We're not talking about a gray blob that could be interpreted as a ship. We're talking about something with straight lines, metallic surfaces, maybe even lights or markings. The camera is so powerful it could potentially resolve features just a few feet across. Did they see windows? An engine? Something that looked like it was manufactured? If they saw that, the world would change in an instant. Every religion, every government, every aspect of human society would be thrown into chaos. The motive for hiding that kind of footage is obvious, to prevent global panic. Then there's a middle ground, something even stranger. The radio emissions detected from 3i Atlas weren't just random noise. Some sources claim they had a structured repeating pattern. 
It wasn't a language we could understand, but it was information. What if the object wasn't just a probe, but a messenger? It could have been broadcasting a message, and as it passed Mars, it downloaded a massive amount of data to our orbiters. We might be in possession of an alien encyclopedia, and the governments of the world are now frantically trying to decide what to do with it. Releasing that information would be the biggest decision in human history. The pressure to keep it secret would be immense. For people watching this, it might be tempting to wonder if all this is really true. No matter the reason, the silence points to a discovery they can't explain. The people versus the establishment. So here we are, staring into the dark at a mystery wrapped in silence. On one side, the official institutions of space exploration sit in near total blackout, saying almost nothing. On the other, a brilliant and controversial Harvard professor emeritus, Avi Loeb, is shouting from the rooftops that we're being deceived. The tension between those two realities is impossible to ignore. Are we missing a key detail? Or is there a simple, boring explanation that makes this all go away? The problem is, even if the object known as 3i Atlas turns out to be nothing more than a strangely shaped, non-gassy, fast-moving space rock that still doesn't explain the part that matters most. The missing footage. Because when the truth is hidden, the cover-up becomes the story. For those watching, it's tempting to roll your eyes and dismiss this as just another aliens and secrets conspiracy theory. But you have to stop and ask yourself, what would drive a man like Avi Loeb to stake his entire reputation on this? This isn't a YouTuber chasing clicks. This is one of the most respected astrophysicists alive, a man with nothing left to prove and nothing to gain. He's at the end of a long, successful career. There's no financial reward, no fame worth this kind of ridicule. The simplest answer is that he truly believes what he's saying. He believes humanity is standing on the edge of its greatest discovery, and that somewhere, someone has decided we aren't ready for it. To Loeb, the search for extraterrestrial life isn't a side project. It's the ultimate goal of science itself. Every telescope, every probe, every mission has been building toward this one question. Are we alone? And now, just as we might finally have found an answer, the data vanishes into classified silence. That's not science. That's control. The implications are almost too huge to comprehend. If Loeb is right, if this object wasn't a natural visitor but a piece of technology, then everything we've been taught about our place in the universe changes overnight. The history books would be wrong. Humanity wouldn't be the pinnacle of evolution. It would be one species among countless others scattered through the stars. Somewhere out there, other beings might have mastered interstellar travel long before we learned to light a campfire and one of their creations might have briefly passed through our sky before vanishing forever. But here's the part that keeps people up at night. What if the discovery was made, and then quietly buried? Would the world's space agencies really hide something this monumental? The truth is, we've seen governments classify less shocking things. We've seen wars, surveillance programs, and entire events erased from public view for national security. Why not this? If the existence of intelligent life out there could destabilize religions, economies, and the balance of power, maybe secrecy isn't that surprising after all. So we're left in the dark, staring at a void that might have contained the biggest revelation in human history. 3i Atlas is already gone, racing out of our solar system, never to return. The chance to study it up close is lost. Whatever was on those cameras, if there was anything at all, remains locked away. And all we have left is the word of one man who refused to stay silent. Maybe Avi Loeb is wrong. Maybe 3i Atlas is nothing more than a rock playing tricks on our instruments. But maybe, just maybe, he's right. And humanity's first brush with another civilization has already happened, hidden behind a curtain of secrecy that we weren't meant to see through. Until that curtain lifts, this will remain not just a scientific mystery, but a story about who gets to decide what we're allowed to know about the universe we live in. What do you think? Is Avi Loeb a prophet telling a hard truth, or is this just a misunderstanding? Let us know your theories in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more answers to the universe's greatest mysteries.